Hello and welcome. My name is Melissa Dagley. I am the Executive Director for the Center for Initiatives in STEM and have the pleasure of being the Director for the Excel and Compass programs. Today I want to make sure that we can give you some information all about how to become a member of Excel and Compass and the benefits that we have to offer. A lot of students ask, why do I want to be in the STEM disciplines? Um, obviously things like um, you can make more money in your lifetime as a, not, as a STEM graduate than a non-STEM graduate. Um, Fortune 500 companies, uh, the CEOs are typically um, STEM graduates as opposed to um, non-STEM graduates. But really what I would tell students is that in order to be in a STEM degree, you have to really have a passion for what you're wanting to do. And so you have to be interested in making a difference in the world, helping others because that passion and wanting to make a difference is really what is going to keep you moving as you move forward in your degree program when the courses get a little bit tougher um, and sometimes you're going to need that extra motivation to keep moving through. So what is the Excel program? Excel was funded by the National Science Foundation back in 2006 um, and has been funded by the university since that point in time. The program goal is basically to increase the success of STEM students in their first two years of college and we do this by recruiting about 300 students and then offering them enhanced educational opportunities throughout their first two years of college. The Compass program was also funded by the National Science Foundation, started in 2012. This program is more about increasing the number of UCF STEM degree recipients and we do that by taking undecided students, people who just really aren't sure about what they want to do in their major, and working with them and helping them to declare hopefully a STEM major. We recruit about 200 students um, each year into the Compass program. We hope to capture about 75 of those. We know that we can't get everyone in STEM, but we want to get about 75% um, of the population. And then we work to retain those students as part of the Excel program moving forward. So what's really the difference between the two programs? It totally has to do with the level of indecision in your major choice. For Compass students, it's really for students who are unsure of which major that they want to choose in college, and that could be anywhere on the spectrum of I don't have a clue, all the way to I know I want to do engineering, but which engineering or which science am I interested in pursuing? You need to be good or enjoy math and science because that's going to be a big part of what you're doing in your degree program. And so whether you're completely undeclared um, or somewhere along the way in that decision-making process, Compass can really assist you. We do this through two pathways, the first of which is for our undecided students. Undecided students participate in our STEM Explorations Career Planning class, whereas pathway two is for recently declared STEM students. So maybe you were undecided as you applied to the institution, but as it got closer to time for enrollment or time for orientation, you decided that you did want to go into a STEM degree. So the two pathways I mentioned, the career planning class and then the STEM seminar course, um, really that determines what you're gonna be doing in your first semester. So if you're undecided, you'll take the career planning class, the SER Explorations course. You're going to be spending time figuring out who am I, where am I going, and how do I get there? We do this through self-exploration um, in the course, and then we introduce you to a number of different STEM career speakers by bringing people in from industry and the faculty. And then the last part of the class of how do I get there is we actually take you out and you do lab visits and get to tour around and see some of what's going on in the STEM disciplines here on campus. Pathway two is the STEM seminar. This is less about people not knowing what they want to major in and more about you now know your major and we wanna help you to immerse yourself into that STEM area. We do this by helping you in the STEM Seminar 1 and 2 courses taken in your first two semesters. And we're going to help you to get the tools for establishing a strong academic foundation, making sure that you get an introduction to the concept of undergraduate research experiences that you can participate in and really immerse you into the world of STEM. For Excel, students who are applying to Excel know 100%. This is the major that I want to do. It's in STEM, and there's no doubt, no question in my mind that this is what I'm looking to pursue in college. Again, good or enjoy math and science is definitely a positive, um, and also wanting to be part of a learning community 
where you are getting support um, in, from STEM uh, from the STEM community. So who's involved? Um, here you can see a list of our different STEM majors that are involved in the Excel and Compass programs. And so some of you may be asking, well, wait, my major's not listed here. Um, our program supports all of the STEM majors that require Calculus 1 or higher. And so if you're seeing a major that's not listed, uh, then it's probably because it doesn't require calculus and therefore um, it's not going to be a program that we support because our, the foundation of our program is really about helping people succeed in those math courses because we know that's where you're going to have the most trouble coming in in your first year of college and where you're most likely to get discouraged. The Excel and Compass programs have been very successful since their inception. Um, however, that's not because of the Center for Initiatives in STEM or anything that I particularly have had the um, opportunity to do. It's really about all of the college and office support that has been provided to the Excel program here at UCF. Um, you can see a number of the offices listed um, that have been providing support since 2006, but really we have the support of all of the four STEM colleges, the College of Undergraduate Studies, uh, the Office of Undergraduate Admissions, as well as First Year Advising and the Division of uh, Teaching and Learning. Who's involved? We've had over 4,700 students involved in the Excel and Compass program since the program started, but really what I want you to see here is the level of faculty commitment to this program. So we have about 20 UCF faculty um, in the STEM disciplines that actually come into our classes, whether it be the career exploration or the STEM seminar class, and uh, do our guest presenters in these classes, helping for our students to better understand what's going on in STEM at the university. But really most important to us are these 120 UCF STEM faculty members who mentor our students in research. These faculty give of their time and their resources to be able to help students understand what you can do in a research lab and really get that experience in the STEM field. The Excel promise to you is that we are going to offer the opportunity to connect students, faculty, and disciplines through a learning community, learning community which ultimately leads to increased success of STEM students. We do this by recruiting incoming freshmen to our programs. Excel is solely for incoming first year students. The Compass program, transfer students can participate um, in the undecided portion of that program. Once we've recruited students in, then we're gonna offer enhanced student STEM experiences during those first two years of college. And then we also make sure that we do assessment. We do assessment on our recruiting, um, as well as our education enhancements that we do. And I'll talk a little bit about that and more about that in a moment. The different activities that we offer within the Excel program are quite extensive. In addition to recruiting the students in, we have the common courses. I mentioned the career planning class for Compass students and the STEM seminar for Excel students. We also have common math classes that students participate in. These are Excel and Compass students only. No one else participates in these classes. These classes also have recitation sessions where students can get more one-on-one -on -one time with faculty and TAs in order to be able to do problem solving and really learn the material. These graduate student mentors who teach the recitation sessions also work with you in our tutoring center that we provide here on campus, free tutoring, math and science courses in your first two years. And this is located in the heart of campus in our Technology Commons 2 building. And again, it's a space just for Excel Compass students. We also offer tutoring at our Nike block housing facility. Um, it is not a requirement to live in our living learning community, but you do have that option if you choose to do so. And in the evenings, we offer tutoring at the Nike community so that students don't have to go so far to get that assistance as they need it. In addition to the housing, which as I mentioned is optional, we also provide advising through the Excel office as well as college advisors. And then we offer a second year undergraduate research experience. Again, an optional opportunity for students if that's the path that they choose to follow. And then of course, we're gonna do some social activities along the way to keep everyone engaged in the learning community. The curriculum 
works fairly simply in your first year, um, whether you have declared your STEM major or not, both Excel and Compass, you're going to take either the career planning class for Compass, the STEM seminar for Excel, your math course based on your math placement, and any science courses that may be relevant to the major that you're pursuing or the major that you are interested in. We want to make sure that we keep you on track in your math and sciences if STEM is really something that you want to do. In the second semester, you continue with these math and science courses and STEM seminar too. In the second year, again, if you still need more math and science, you're going to continue with those through the process, and then that's when we add the undergraduate research experience opportunity. As for our math courses, we offer students the opportunity to begin in college algebra all the way through calculus three. So depending upon exactly where you're coming in in your um, math prerequisite chain, um, we have a space for you. Now the unfortunate news, if you've already completed Calculus 3 or you've completed the math that your major requires, then Excel and Compass really aren't going to be the place for you because you do have to do the math courses with us as part of the program. The national STEM graduation rate is about 40%. That doesn't seem very high, I get that, but STEM, all STEM fields are really difficult, rigorous fields. The Excel story, um, our success is that we have actually been able to increase STEM graduation to, um, an, on average, since we started the program, 52%. That is a 53% increase in graduation over our control group who's graduating in STEM at only a 34% average. Um, and the data that you see here really is about our six-year graduation dates, graduation rates. That's why um, you'll see us stopping at the year 2013. More current dates will be added each year. The other thing that I want you to talk, want you to know about, is how we enhance the second-year experience. We've had over 890 students participate in our undergraduate research experiences since we started the program. We have another 55 students active right now this spring. The URE is a way to get into um, an early experience in a research lab, which then prepares you to be able to go on to do additional paid experiences, similar to the RAMP, McNair, or FlipPath programs that's showing you here. Really for us though, this is all about our students. And so I wanna take just a few minutes to introduce you to a few of our former students and brag on them just a bit. Keon was part of our first Excel program he came in, he was an aerospace engineering major. He did the Excel undergraduate research experience. He moved on and participated in Rant McNair and, and graduated with his aerospace engineering bachelor's degree. As part of that process, he also opted to do the accelerated bachelor's to master's degree program and ended up getting his master's in aerospace engineering with only an additional year of coursework. From that, Keon moved on to do his PhD in aerospace engineering at Washington, the University of Washington. The really nice thing about that is Keon didn't pay a dime. Keon received a, a National Science Foundation graduate fellowship as well as a McNair graduate fellowship, which was able to pay for his entire PhD program. We're really proud of Keon. He graduated last year with his PhD and often comes back to student to campus to meet with our students in the program. Whitney Keith also participated in our undergraduate research program. She was an electrical engineering major, um, and the research that she did actually allowed her to be able uh, to earn a very prestigious national scholarship called the Astronaut Scholarship back in 2010-2011. Um, since that point in time, we've had two other Excel students that have been able to receive this national scholarship. Super proud of her. The, the interesting thing is that the scholarship that she received was for work that she did with her math faculty member in research, not in her electrical engineering field. So you really can branch out and get involved with different faculty across campus. Whitney is currently employed with the Ford Motor Company after receiving her bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. Daniela Badal took a slightly different path. Um, she actually was one of the first mentors within our women's mentoring program, which is called Girls Excelling in Math and Science. And so she also participated in research, but decided, yeah, one year, that's good for me. I don't need anything else. She came, she was a mentor for us. She volunteered with the program, um, was a science Olympiad judge, and just took, like again, a slightly different path than some of the other students. 
She completed her degree in biomedical sciences and went on to complete her doctorate of pharmacy at the University of Florida's pharmacy school at Lake Nona. She has since finished her residency at Mount Sinai in New York. Tace um, also participated in undergraduate research. She's one of our more recent graduates. She's currently working for Jacobs Technology at the Kennedy Space Center. And the reason that I wanted to tell you a little bit about Tace is that she was one of the first groups of students that got to participate in our women's mentoring program. And so I just want you to see what she has to say about the program. Her GEMS mentor helped her to realize that even though she struggled with some of the concepts in the classes, she could still go on to be a successful engineer. If I commit the time and effort, I kept in touch with other Excel students in the Excel lab, which helped me to study hard and more efficiently for my engineering courses. Tace has been a great success in her professional career as well. The last student I want to highlight is Joe Sleppy. Um, Joe graduated in 2018, not too long ago in electrical engineering. Uh, Joe took a really different path. After participating in the undergraduate research, he actually became involved in entrepreneurship. Upon graduation, he actually created his own company, and he is the owner and CEO of Capacitech Energy. And we're super proud of all of the efforts that he makes um, in, in, to the, with the community. And he often comes back to campus to work with our students in our STEM seminar course as well. So who should apply? Obviously, anyone who is a high school senior um, is eligible to apply. You have an interest in STEM, like math or science. We are looking for a minimum score on the SAT or ACT in the math portion. And so you have to have scored at least a 560 math SAT and a 24 ACT math. Um, ideally, you want to be part of a learning community. Um, if the reality is, is if you're not wanting to come and be part of the community, then you may not get a lot out of being part of the program. It's all about what you put into it. And so we encourage people to be really looking for being a member of the community, an active member, wanting to come in and receive the support that we have to offer. Of course, you have to be admitted to UCF. Um, you can apply to the Excel and Compass programs before receiving your final admission notification from UCF, but we will not be making a decision until such time you have been fully admitted to UCF. How do you apply? Go to our online application. Our websites are listed here. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at any time, excel at ucf.edu or compass at ucf.edu, and we'll be happy to assist. Thanks for coming today. Enjoy.